It's finally Friday again, and as we head into the weekend, we head out with Walt Grayson as he goes about Mississippi exploring places we may or may not be familiar with. And Walt, you have a story about a place most of us have never seen. Oh, I wouldn't think so. Maybe from the road for the hardy adventurer, but we get to go down inside the Devil's Punch Bowl, just north of Natchez. It looks like a jungle from up above. Down below that first bluff east of the Mississippi River, quarter mile, maybe a half mile past Natchez City Cemetery, you're 200 feet up right here, and your footing falls almost straight down into a two-pronged indentation into the bluffs that sort of looks like the roots on a molar tooth. The moderate seclusion it afforded from boats on the river just below it and travelers on Cemetery Road just above it gave rise to all sorts of rumors and legends of dastardly deeds that were supposed to have happened in here. A river pirate hideout, a holdup for Natchez Trace bandits, where massacres and murders and mystical things have happened. Two airplanes actually have crashed into it over time, and other stuff. So much stuff that people started calling it the Devil's Punch Bowl. David New took me down into it one morning so I could get a look at what was really there. We didn't see the devil or any hidden treasure, except maybe the treasure of a pristine bottomland hardwood forest. You could use your imagination to take you back to a time before humans ever chopped a tree or shot a deer or cleared a parking lot. The sound surprised me. You could hear your footsteps and the crickets and other creepy, crawly things that must be right there nearby. We did hear an airplane. Fortunately, it passed safely overhead, probably landing at Natchez. And then when it got quieter, there was the almost silent, very distant roar of jet engines way, way overhead. Busy people, probably on their way from Atlanta to Houston. And then the forest fell silent again. And I thought how lucky we were not to be on that distant airplane overhead going somewhere far, far from home, but to be here with nowhere in particular to be and no particular time to have to be there. Just like the trees in the deep woods, right here, always, right now. Well, the Devil's Punch Bowl is private property, and there really isn't a good access to it anyway. Besides, it's appreciated best from the road up above where you can use your imagination and create your own story of what might be going on down in there.